main services with two different tools. Let's first start with a network uh, curve tool. So I go for this one here and just grab all the curves and say OK to that. And what we have now is uh, a surface with a lot of control points. So if we accept this now, we could turn on the control points and we see there is a huge amount of control points. So a good idea is try to bring down the number here and I will go for rebuild. And if we bring up the rebuild tool with a right click, we could ask for fewer uh, than we got in the beginning. So here we had 26, maybe we could go for eight points in one direction and eight in another and five degree five degrees uh, a good choice of curve because if you have several spans it's internally a uh, continuity and doesn't have any breaks so look at that so much easier just with rebuild of course we have taken away some of the information so it might not fit perfectly here uh, towards the images, but that could be easily adjusted. So this is one approach using network uh, surface and then bring down the number of control points with rebuild. Let's now try another approach. So we delete that one and now we will go for loft instead. And loft usually give us a very nice and high quality surface in one go. So let's see what happens if we take that curve, and that and that, and we can't use the edges here. So that is the downside of this. And if we accept what we have here and just choose OK, we will have a surface that is very clean. Look at that. If we choose the surface and turn on the control points, look at that. Without rebuild, we have a really clean and nice curve, sorry, surface. But it's not fitting really good to the edge here. So in this case, we actually need to adjust that so it follow our intentions. But that could easily be done. So let's continue with this surface. So from now on, it would be more or less the same approach. So we could uh, have this in its own layer. So let's pick the surface and make a brand new layer and call that main surf. And we could right click and choose change orbit layer. And now we could lock the curves so we don't destroy them by mistake. And we could go for instance for a side view and see if we could come a little bit closer. So here we could see if I take these two uh, control points here and move them, we could try to come a little bit closer to our intention. So because there is so few uh, of these, it's very easy to change this. Here we could also see that they are not lining up perfectly. So that is something that we of course need to attend to. But let's just get this approximately right here. Let's go down here and see what it looks like here. I think here it's a huge difference to the original profile there. So and of course we might have gone back and choose another rebuild uh, setting there. So maybe I took away a little bit too much of, of the information here. But on the other hand, I know that I have a very nice and smooth surface. So what I'm doing here is just trying to be inside the bounding box. Okay, so maybe we're very happy with that. Let's have a look at the perspective view. And now we know that it's a little bit wobbly here. Uh, and uh, for instance, if we would turn on uh, the curvature plot for one of these or all of them, we could get an idea of what we have in the symmetry plane. So looking at this from straight from the side, you can see that 
this is not lining up here. So this is not good. We, we need to adjust the settings here. And we could do that by what we did earlier with the curves to just align these uh, nicely, the control points. But there is a, a shortcut. Uh, we could cheat a little bit and that is always nice. So let's take this surface here and choose symmetry. And even cooler if we turn on record history. So let's go for symmetry. Uh, so remember I clicked record history first and then I go for symmetry. And now I could choose the surface edge here, which it's demanding us to do. And I go for that edge there and it would like to have a base point or start point. And then I go for a straight line over there and it immediately makes the other side. A middle click to turn on the shading here. And there we go. We have a really nice looking object there. Uh, let's see what the curvature plot looks like now if we go from uh, the back. And look at that lining out that looks a little bit peculiar but it should be all right let's see what the zebra pattern gives us on on this object so when we're analyzing we always could go for the graph but also the zebra pattern so I go for zebra and pick that surface and that surface and right click look at that it's perfect because they are attached these here ah and then here we have a little bit wobbly zebra pattern remember that you could adjust the mesh and what is really good is to use this preview button because here we can see that it's calculating a really big polygons or quads so a, a quad is two polygons together so if i for instance set the maximum length here to five millimeter and if i have clicked preview we could have seen that we have so much smaller mesh and look at the beautiful zebra pattern here. So remember to adjust the mesh, it makes a huge impact. But we get proof here that we have curvature continuity. So this is just marvelous. The main surfaces are done.